Hey guys, Peter here to tell you about the debut solo record from Corpse Grinder, self-titled Corpse Grinder, out February 25th on Perseverance Music Group. This album has 10 tracks, 31 minutes in length, and it features Charlie Belmore on guitars and bass, and Nick Belmore on drums, both of Dee Snyder. This is an album that's all about my expectations coming in, and then what the album actually delivered, and it delivered a lot more than what I was expecting. I was expecting the structure of this album to be flat, to be linear, to be constant. What you get at the beginning is going to be what you're going to get all the way throughout the entire record. It was not the case. The album has ebbs and flows, it changes, it has nuances, it has ripples. It doesn't have a uniform pattern that you can adjust to it or that you can interpret it from the beginning and then stay connected with it. You almost have to slightly readjust yourself every so often. This gives the record a lot more fluidity, makes the album more dynamic, more energetic and therefore more engaging. Being 31 minutes in length helps the experience because by the time you reach the end of the album you feel like you didn't have enough of it and you need to go back again to it. You also have to look at all the similarities that exist on this album because they are definitely there but you also have to look at the things that break these songs apart that give them its unique fingerprint to each and every single track. This album highlights both and that is the winning formula because you're able to create a record that has the strength of the collective, that feels uniform, that feels balanced, but at the same time each song also works in an individual basis and has enough of life of its own that you can really feel the differences that exist from track to track. Really easy to tell the forest from the trees. Now as far as the soundscape is concerned, this record blends three genres, death metal, thrash and hardcore. It's really a hybrid. Now some songs you're gonna get more of one, some songs you're gonna get more of the other. But overall, the experience that you get, the sensation that you get when you reach the end of the record is that this is really a hybrid of those three genres and they blended them perfectly, sung in and sung out. An album that has a lot of volume, but it has clear volume, really well recorded, really well mixed, really well mastered, a really well designed album and efficient in its sound. There are elements that drive the experience, but there's not one single element that overshadows everything else. This album puts the vocals in the forefront, allows the vocals to have the spotlight. Everything else sound-wise is behind it in order to enhance it. It's the pedestal that the vocals are sitting on. That is the sound performance, the sound experience that you're gonna get here. A sound that has quality, that has depth, that has substance, that has texture, that feels big, but not overpowering. That's really important. You can create a heavy album, a powerful album, an aggressive album, but not necessarily feel like you're overpowering the listener. You don't feel drained when you listen to this record. This record really has an easy playability aspect to it. Now, the drums and guitars are outstanding. I wasn't expecting anything else from Charlie and Nick. These two guys know what they're doing and they really put together an album that fit the vocals of Corpse Grinder to perfection. When you look at the drums, the power of the drums is fundamental, not just in grounding the album, but really propelling the record forward, giving it a sense of movement, giving a sense of heaviness, but also giving the force that drives it, that creates the path that then you can put the guitars, bass, and vocals on top of. The sound of the drums also had life in it, it had soul, it felt warm. It had something in it, it didn't feel hollow, so it created a very interesting experience and made the overall soundscape of the record feel a lot richer. The guitars are phenomenal, it doesn't matter how you dissect it, the guitar playing on this album really drives the record forward. It adds groove, it adds melody, it adds heaviness, it adds power, it adds aggression, it adds intensity. Depending on which way the songs are going, the, in terms of what genre is influencing or how much of a hybrid the track becomes, that's exactly what you're going to get from the guitars. Really adapting to the construction of the songs, really adapting to the specific tracks, keeping in mind that you have to keep some attributes together so you give the record a sense of togetherness so you can create a red line all the way through. So the guitars on this record play this important role of being dynamic, of being energetic, of creating life, shapes and forms, but at the same time helping bringing the record together as one so you don't lose track of exactly where you started and where you're going. As far as the vocals goes, Corpse Grinder is Corpse Grinder. There's really not much to say here. There's no uh, added value to, to be said about his vocals. Everybody knows what to expect and what you are gonna expect is exactly what you're gonna get from the first song all the way to the last. I just feel like sound-wise, they created the perfect soundscape, the perfect soundtrack for him to sing on top of. And that's exactly what you're gonna get. Now, coming into this album, I was expecting the record to be perhaps a little bit more like Cannibal Corpse version 
and I was surprised to see that it wasn't the case. They actually went a little bit outside the box. Obviously, the death metal influences are still there. There's still going to be a few songs here and there that give you that cannibal corpse vibe. But overall, this is a lot easier to digest. The sound is easier to digest. The way the vocals interact with that sound is easier to digest. And the overall album wins from that. It gains playability. It gains quality. So a lot better record than I was expecting coming in. An album that surprised me with a little bit of the diversity that it offered. And at the same time, the consistency that it holds. Now, as far as favorite songs are concerned, I want to start off with Bottom Dweller. Pounding track. The drums hit hard. They slap really hard on this track. And the guitars add heaviness and grooviness. And that creates the ebbs and flows that exist within the song, making the track more engaging, making the track more dynamic. It's a little bit more direct in the verses. This is a track that doesn't hold back in the verses, but then once you get into the chorus, it becomes a little bit groovier. And that's the interesting dynamic that the song has. You really feel those movements happening as you're listening to it. Vocally, it's more consistent, more balanced approach from start to finish. If I had to define this track, Bottom Dweller is basically a hate breed song with Corpse Grinder on vocals. That's the best way to define it. Next, you have All Souls Get Torn, a brutal track, a more traditional death metal track, a more traditional Cannibal Corpse style track. It grinds you down from start to finish. It's demolishing. It moves vocally, musically, you just feel like it's tearing you limb by limb as you progress through it. It has a lot of power, it's straight to the point, nothing fancy, just pure aggression in your face, non-stop from the first moment all the way to the last. The last song on my list is Devourer, uh, Devourer of Souls, a more methodic track. This one has heaviness, but it loses a little bit of its momentum, so it feels a little bit more methodic. Because it moves more methodic, it also feels heavier. It almost loses one to increase the other. It has a nice approach as far as the movement and the compensation that exists between that movement and that heaviness. Great guitar solo on this track. It really blows up the song. It, it, it allows it to have a little bit of a different dynamic. It changes it ever so slightly. It increases the overall quality of the guitar sound and execution performance from start to finish. Super driven guitars, super penetrating. I mean, you really feel like a knife cutting through you. It has that sort of intensity, that sort of power. It allows it to stand out, not just within the song, but as the song itself. The drums still give the song a robust sound. It gives a robust experience to the way the track comes together and really makes the song feel more consistent. It packs in and it makes the track feel heavier at times. This is it, Corpse Grinder with self-titled Corpse Grinder out February 25th on Perseverance Music Group. Let me know your thoughts on the singles. Use the comment section below. I'll be reading those and getting back to you. Take care, guys.